वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल तो हेयर वी आर डिस्कसिंग द क्वेश्चन थ्री लॉजिशियंस वॉक इन टू अ बार सो द प्रॉब्लम स्टेट दैट थ्री लॉजिशियंस वॉक इन टू अ बार द बार टेंडर आज दैम डज एवरी वन वॉन्ट अ बियर लॉजिशियन वन रिप्लाइज आई डोंट नो देन लॉजिशियन टू रिप्लाइज आई डोंट नो फाइनली लॉजिशियन थ्री रिप्लाइज येस नाउ कमिंग टू द एक्चुअल प्रॉब्लम एन लॉजिशियंस नंबर्ड वन टू एन वॉक इन टू अ बार We are given a binary string S, where S i equal to one, if and only if the ith logician wants beer for himself, otherwise S i equal to zero. Note that the logicians don't know the string S. Each one only knows whether they themselves want a beer. They are also perfect logicians, and hence can extract information from hearing what the previous logicians reply. The bartender asks them, "Does everyone want a beer?" Predict what will be the replies of logician one to n if they reply in that order. Once again, note that logician i only has the following information. So, what logician i has is s i that is whether himself wants a beer or not, and the reply of logicians one two three to i minus one. Output I don't know for I don't know yes or no with their respective meaning. So we need to output i d k for I don't know. And the input format is t, the number of test cases, and then we have test case containing of multiple lines of input. The first line contains n, the number of logicians, and second line contains binary string s of length n, representing whether each logician wants beer or not. So, for each test case, output n lines, the responses of logicians one to n in order. Each character of output may be printed in either upper case or lower case. That is, string no, no, no will all be treated as equivalent. So first, let's see the input. For the first set of input, the logician one has only information of himself, so it will output I don't know because he can't see the information of all others next logician 2 is also not sure so he also returns i don't know so these are the responses of 1 and 2 and the third one is sure that they all want the beer so he outputs yes now in the second case the first logician doesn't want a beer and as both of them doesn't want they are sure and hence reply no so in this case we have one thing for sure that if we have the first one as no then till last it will be no because as first one doesn't want a beer everyone will not hence this output is starting from no instead of i don't know now let's see the test cases first we check for the first one so we need to check from 1 to i minus 1 index now it is the first index itself so we can't check for second one we check for the first one but we don't know the response of third one hence we are not sure for third one we can check for both of them so when we check for both of them So we'll get the output that we they want the beer because all of them are ones. So hence the third one can output yes, as he can be sure. So remember that the last one, I mean the last index, whatever it may be, at last index whichever is the number, it just need to output. Yes or no, depending upon the previous responses. If suppose I have one zero one, so first one is sure, but he don't know about the rest one, so it will come I don't know. I am writing I for it. Next coming to zero, it is simply a no, and coming to one. It is no because from previous responses we get that one is zero, all are not ones. 
now similarly for this case as all were ones we output yes in second case the first itself output knows so if first one does not want a beer then everyone does not want a beer so we simply output no for both the cases now let's understand how to write this code so first of all what you want need to do is you need to check the first index so for the first index you will check if suppose i have string s if s of 0 is equal to 0 then are all the outputs would be no in this case because everyone does not want a beer the first one does not want means everyone does not want at least one is disagreeing so from 1 to n all answer will be no for us and if it is 1 then it would output i don't know because he doesn't know about the rest of them so these are the cases for the first index now for the remaining index we will check for every index if at any point s of i equal to 0 if at any point this is there then we can keep a flag and put that flag to true or one and then the next condition would be this is in if else so let it be if then here else if then again else if so else if f is equal to 1 then our 0 is found 0 is found means one of them is disagreed at least one of them is disagreed if one of them is disagreed then rest of them surely know that everyone does not want to be here so from that index we will start printing no and if all these cases are not there then we will output the same thing that is i don't know next what we need to do is for the response at the end which is at index n minus 1 we need to check if all the values are 1 if all the values are 1 that the then the response at n minus 1 would be yes and if it is 0 it is handled in this case itself so this will be the whole solution i hope you all understand the solution thanks for watching